uh, welcome all of you nana here and then uh, in this session uh, we are going to have a look at uh, the reassign and then the delegation of uh, fusion applications actually so go that click on the entire screen <laughs> so before we begin a uh, small advertisement from our side i sell my uh, uh, course and i don't have any classes planned now because there are not uh, sufficient uh, number of people there so if you go to oraclenana.com you can now see my advertisement over here now and then uh, i am now having uh, this many advantages over here now and then uh, uh, you can even uh, buy the record directly either uh, through this link this is a international is a international payment gateway actually so if you are uh, let us say you are in romania and then if your uh, credit or debit card has got a two factor authorization you can very well pay because uh, it accepts only two factor authorization cards uh, outside india actually uh, you can even pay or otherwise what you can do is you can even click on this link fine like can and no selling the records and click on the link over there and then here i got four sales actually fine whichever you want you can pay like you can buy it fine either i inventory or procurement or order management or yeah what happens a clubbing of uh, 20 module records so they are available if you go there and then look at it fine click on it and now see but what all the things which are covered in the 20 actually and then uh, you can do it now <clears throat> so total or mine actually and then uh, the remaining eight or bottle so so i'll be getting all those things and then i will now add you to my group of uh, uh, past participants actually so if you ping me at at oracle nana uh, i will now add you and then you can very well have a discussion and then uh, when you having any doubts <clears throat> i will now clarify the doubts and then if you having any issues during your implementation or support uh, uh, we are there to help you out fine so that what happens you'll always be having a team of people who are going to assist you during your implementation and support now <clears throat> fine so that way it works now so it will be very useful and then uh, mine is not very costly expensive so if you are outside india then if you cannot uh, buy via the payment gateway you can even use the paypal to pay and then uh, get the things done actually i will be it is uh, more than 150 gb in size if you are going for 20 models and then i will be sharing a google drive through which you will be able to download within two weeks time so this is a small, small sort of advertisement actually <clears throat> now let us now come into our uh actual topic of uh, what your uh, uh, uh reassign and delegation <clears throat> so if you go there uh i will now go to what i have already created the jobs actually uh, i have now created the jobs of what are three jobs i have created t02 emp1 emp2 emp3 and then junior manager assistant manager and then manager actually and then i have now configured uh, what's called the things called for the approvals for the job levels fine for the job level approvals what you do is i go to client groups and then i go there i go to the person management i go to the client groups and then i go to the person management and then let me query my first employee and then show it to you so here employee is what emp1 comma space t02 underscore fine this is the last name comma first name by which what happens you go to query now so let me query where the last name is click on the hyperlink on the employee you can have a look at it so i'm not going to edit it because i already done actually so he has been given a job of a junior manager actually so he is employee he has been given a job of junior manager and then i have updated the position also so to update it what happens you have to go to edit and then go to update and then update the assignments change actually you have to do it so if you go to the update <coughs> edit update and then here you have to drop it down and then choose the assignment change here and then click on okay and then make a change assignment change is the one you have to choose and then go there so for position updation you have to come over here only Fine. You have to come over here. I have the person management only. Position only. But uh, you can even update your uh, line managers through your manager users itself. Line managers only. If you want to update, you can do it. Fine. But for a job level approval, line managers are more than sufficient. Position is not required. Position hierarchy needs a position actually. So line manager has been there. So for one, two is the uh, what happens? Line manager, and then for two, the three is the line manager. For three, uh, he is like a Rajini Gant, and then he reports to nobody actually. is the top man with the hierarchy so uh, i have got three employees on this now <clears throat> and similarly what i did is i will go that click on cancel i have, I have done for 11 22 and 33 a similar one fine i have now specified the line managers for 11 it's 22 the line manager for 22 33 is the line manager <clears throat> fine like this i have done it. so line managers and positions have been done so positions can be given by a manager <clears throat> now let us go there and then how look at the approvals i think that's smart i will now go to the server and maintenance i will now show the approvals So we will now uh, have a look at the approvals. Now, find the requisition approvals. Find click on search now. <clears throat> so we will manage a couple. 
the Gobi and then the query for it now. Manage requisition of close the one. <coughs> I know configured in one of the uh, stage participant combination, the combination to use one and click on it, click on edit tools. <coughs> And then I was uh, demonstrating whatever we go there. The second one is the one which I was demonstrating upon. I know that one. So I have not changed it to supervisor error. Okay, let me change it to the job level error. So there are six methods of approval. So go there. So one is an automatic. And then other thing is what? There are five more levels of there. So in which, what happens? I go for the job level. So I will now say start from the preparer. And then I will now say three levels you go. Levels. And then this is the top employee in the hierarchy. So EMP1, EMP2, EMP3. So you are going to have a job level, and then from EMP1 is now going to create it, and then it will now build up to EMP3 actually. So it is basically the approval is basically a list building mechanism. So this list building mechanism will now build the list of approvals for us. I can even have an option of all approvals or only lost or first. So whichever way you can do it. So I'm not choosing all approvals. So in the preparer onwards, EMP1, EMP2, EMP3 will be the approvals for this mechanism. <coughs> You may be wondering about why the preparer himself has to be an approver. Now, right? There are cases where it is required actually. So click on save now and then let me deploy it. So click on deploy. I'm going to deploy it. So this is now getting deployed. And then in the meantime, what happens? I'll go there, open up the right position. So click on it. I'll now go to the procurement and then I'll go to the purchase requisition. <coughs> So go there. So 1003 has been withdrawn actually. Fine, I don't know. I was demonstrating on 1003 requisition is now withdrawn. So let me go on the edit kit and then I'll now go on and see. You know, I go to the actions and then bring it to the edit mode. It's now withdrawn actually. So the IE icon is now for the withdrawal actually. It has been withdrawal from approvals. If I click on the manage approvals, it will now show you 1, 2, and 3 are the approvals for this particular requisition. Now it's the job level approvals. And so the line managers must be available actually. <laughs> So a click on the manager approvals, it will show you one, two, and three are the approvals actually. This guy only is now creating a requisition. And so what happens is he, he is also a participant of a, a approval actually. So it may so require that what happens is if this guy wanted to do any delegation or reassignments, then we have to include him also. So we are going to do it now. Kind of that. So it will not show you all the three uh, persons over here now. And if you go that it is already deployed now. So it will not show you all the three. Approvers now. Fine. EMP1, EMP2, and EMP3 will be the approvers actually. <clears throat> and then if you go there and then see this now, fine. Uh, the people must have uh, the sufficient roles actually. Fine. If you don't have a role, they cannot do the what happens to your delegation as well as the reassignment. So you must have the application implementation consultant role. You must have an employee role. Fine. So the two uh, basic roles which are required for a person to what happens to reassign and then delegate actually. Employee role and then application implementation person code, and then uh, preferably advanced procurement requester also. So, once when you give all the roles, then this guy becomes eligible for what happens at doing what a resign moment. So, it is now building the list of approvers actually. So, once when the approvers are built, it will be showing over here in the bottom now. So now it's not showing you EMP1, EMP2, and EMP3. Let me submit it. It will not go to EMP. He himself is creating it now, and EMP1 is only creating it. So it will not go for him for approval, actually. So once when it is done, whatever you can now see that it has been submitted for approval, actually. <clears throat> so it will now go again and then click on the 1003 and then click on the pending approval. It will not show you. And click on the pending approval. It will not show you. It has been marked to EMP3 now. Fine. It is not, it's still not available. Not uh, wait for some time, actually. <clears throat> So I will now click on the pending approval again now after some time. So when you click on it, you can now see that it will now mark with the blue color. Fine. That means what? It is now lying with the EMP1. Now, what this guy is going to do is he is now going to delegate it to EMP11. Fine. He is now going to delegate it to EMP11. So he can very well delegate it. So uh, yeah, EMP11 may be uh, what happens, uh, a person who is going to uh, scrutinize the particular requirement actually. That's fine. He is now going to delegate it. So what you will do is we will now go there, click on it. I will click on it. I will know what happens. You click on the hyperlink on that message which has come. Fine, it's in the Japanese actually. Fine, thirty seconds, thirty five seconds ago, it's not fine. Click on it. I don't know delegate it. You no. know going to delegate it actually. So EMP one, EMP two, EMP three are there. And good actions are then let us know delegate it. So sometimes what happens, you will be having somebody who will be uh, competent enough to what happens to see this whether it is okay or not. Click on it. Click on search now. 
I have already created everything over there now. I am just showing you. Fine, these are all. So I will now mark it to EMP2. I am now delegating it. Fine. Uh, uh, is this the right item for our requirement? Fine, fine, fine. We are asking you. Click on submit. So it will be going to EMP11. Fine. From one, it will be going to EMP11. He is now delegating it. So one is not taking a decision because he is not competent enough to. Justify whether it is okay or not. So now, what happens? It has been delegated to EMP eleven. Now. now, if you click on done, now fine. Because I can see EMP one will be replaced with EMP eleven actually. EMP one will be replaced. Click on the pending approval. You can now see that EMP one will be replaced by EMP eleven actually. This is called delegation. So we wanted him to design instead of me designing it actually. So in such cases, what happens? He will be sending it to the preparer also. Now let me go on and log in as EMP eleven. Now EMP eleven is already logged actually. So let us now go there and have a look at it. He'll be getting a what's called a message. <clears throat> He'll be getting a message. He'll click on the whole icon. Oh, it is now lost actually. Fine. Let me log in actually. Fine. <clears throat> so uh, we are now logging in as EMP eleven now. Fine. So once when he log in, probably no worry. And then he'll be getting a notification message. So you can even go via the bell icon, or otherwise, what you can do is you can go to the navigator on the left hand side, and then go to the tools. Fine, in the tools, you can even go to the approvals. Fine, one of the way you can go. So go there, click on it. You would have got a message. You know? So a one minute ago, a message has come back to you. <clears throat> now he is going to examine the specifications of the item which you are needing because the entire procurement module is what to optimize the spend and then spend only for what you exactly need. It. So for which some companies uses is the delegation method to what happens? I do it now. Fine, that's not. So it is now confined. Is this the right item for our requirement? So this is the question which has been made by EMP one, and then let's come to him now. Fine. Now he is going to take an action. He is going to say, "Okay, approve." Click on approve, and then he will now say, uh, "Yes." Who is the character? He will now say approve, and then he will now submit it. So it will now go to EMP two now from EMP one. Fine. He has not done it. So with the comment, he has not done. No, fine. No, fine. So it will now go to EMP. Uh, this thing. And the notification also after some time it will vanish. One minute ago the notification there was three hours before only. So if you go there and then click again on the notification bell, the one minute ago notification will go away. You know, showing you two minutes again now. So we wait for some time and then it will now vanish <clears throat> because we are taking an action. Actually. And even if you click on it, what happens? The actions will now vanish. If you click on, it, there won't be any action at all. The actions are, and the notification itself will now go away after some time. So he has already responded back, and so what happens? Uh, he has given a response actually. So go there, close it now. Now go there. We we'll now go and then have a look at it. Now, now it will be marked as a yes, and then it will be going EMP two. It will be the EMP two. Actually, click on that now. Fine. Click on. So click on that now. Fine. So you go there and then I click again on the pending approvals. You can now see that EMP one is now you have a tick mark now. <clears throat> you got a tick mark and then it is now with EMP three three actually. Fine. Uh, I don't know why it has gone to EMP three three. Uh, and then the, actually it has to. I, I now kept one thing now. Fine. The two two has been kept on a, what's called. A, uh, uh, it should not go there at all. And EMP three should not go there at all. Uh, I will now go there. Click on it. I will now go to more details. I have now made a vacation rule for EAP two two actually. I know that point. I now made a vacation rule for EAP two two. Know that point. I will now go to this place and then I will now go to the preferences now. Go to the preferences. I made a vacation rule. Let me cancel the rule. I go to the other rules now. I click on the other rules. I will now go for the EAP two two now. So EAP two two. Then click on show rules now. And I made a vacation rule. Uh, it is not showing me anything at all in this place. Now. I will now show for one one now. Right, one one. I will now click on the show rule now. One one is also not enabled. Enabled, enabled now. Not enabled now. Right, click on the more more rules. So I I don't know why it has gone to EMP three three actually. Right, after the delegation test to come back here actually. One if you click on the show rules, is also not enabled. Actually. And none of the vacation rules are enabled actually. The others. Now. So go to the my rules and then see this now. Right, my rules is my by EMP one one rule. And it's also not enabled actually. And no vacation rules are basically enabled actually. Uh, and then with others, we we'll see two. Maybe two employee two maybe having a room. Okay, keep on showing. EMP two will be here. Yes, it is enabled actually. So uh, since it has to go to EMP two, it has been uh, what happens uh, modified to go to EMP three three. And that is the reason that it is not coming up. So this is what.
And uh, so delegation has worked perfectly. It has to go to EMP2. But since for EMP2, EMP we are now given a delegation to EMP3. It has now gone to EMP3. I will now remove it and I will now save it. Remove it and then save it. The EMP2 is one. I am now removing it now and save it. So uh, that is the reason that we got uh, EMP33 over here. And two has got a vacation rule. So the vacation rule has now sent it to EMP33 actually. So the delegation worked perfectly actually. So EAP11 to EAP2, it has gone, but since you guys on a vacation, now I removed the vacation also, fine. So this is called a relation. Now, let me go and then let me, what happens, uh, <coughs> what happens, withdraw it. So go and then, what happens, go to actions, and then let me withdraw an edit. So I'm now withdrawing an edit. Thank you for asking. I'm now going to withdraw an edit. So we are now withdrawing an edit. This time you are going to see the reassignment. Fine, I'm going to see the reassignments. So for reassignments, I will now click on the manage approvals and then I will again send it for approval. Click on manage approvals, it will now show you. It has been withdrawn now. So I will now get it. This time we are going to reassign. And delegation is what? It will now go to one employee and then I come back to our place for action. Now, once when I reassign it to EMP11, what it will do is it will now see the hierarchy. Now it has built three employees over here. It has now built three employees over here. And so what happens? It will now go to uh, EMP 11 and then it will be totally replaced with 11's hierarchy. So 11, 22, and 33 are the three employees because one is reporting to two, two is reporting to three. Whereas I have also set up 11 reporting to 22, 22 reporting to 33. So these three things will be replaced by 11, 22, and 33 if I am going to, what happens? Reassign. So the entire hierarchy will be replaced with the destination people's hierarchy. So it is not done now. Fine. So we will now have a notification here that it has been marked to EMP1 now. Fine. Click on the pending approval. We'll be having a notification over here now. Wait for some time now. We'll be having a notification here now. So click on back and wait for some time. And then you will now get what the yeah, notification here. So eight minutes ago, since all the one fine, I had uh, some few seconds before now. Fine. Click on it. So the notification is not at reach now. Fine. Click on it. So once the notification comes, and eight minutes ago is only there. <clears throat> so even if you click on the pending approval, <clears throat> it has not developed the approvers actually. Now it has come. <clears throat> okay, it has now been marked EMP one now. And click on the now and now go on and look at the bill icon now. And click on it. You now see the message coming up from it. Vandichi, we got it. Thirteen seconds before. And click on it. No, this time whatever you know about the reassignment, we are going to perform a reassignment. So go there, go to actions. And then here, what happens? I will now do the reassign. Delegation, we are seen. It will go to one employee. This employee will be replaced by the employer and then now go back and then come back to our place. Now the entire hierarchy of approvals will be changed. If you click on the reassign, the entire hierarchy of approvals will be changed. Click on search. <clears throat> so here, I will now say T02. And then I click on search. So EMP11, thank you for so now it will be replaced by what happens uh, this hierarchy of 11, 22, and 33. I'll click on submit now. So 1, 2, 3 will be replaced because it's the reassignment actually. And because 11 boss is 22, and then 12 boss is 33. We have to define everybody's line manager actually. If you don't define the line manager, it will not be happening properly now. So if you click on the pending approval, 1, 2, 3 will be replaced by 11, 22, and 33. 11, 22, and 33. <coughs> it has got replaced by 11, 22, and 33. So this is called a reassignment. Now let us say uh, the 22 employee is going on leave actually. He is now going on leave. And then he wants to, what happens, uh, get reassigned. Rather, the 11 employee is now going on leave. And then let us say he wants to reassign it to EMP33. The 11th is now going on leave. And then he wants to replace it for, what happens, uh, uh, 33 actually. <clears throat> uh, it will be replaced. But no, no, I will now say, uh, okay, fine. 11 will be replaced by 33. I'm not able to simulate exactly uh, what it has to do. Fine, uh, okay, uh, 11 is now going on leave now. Fine, uh, no, replace it by 33. Actually. Fine. We're now going to create a vacation rule for this. So we'll now go back. Fine, click on done. Fine. It has now got replaced. I'm not want to simulate, but <laughs> exactly remembering. Let us now withdraw it. Fine. I withdraw and leave. And then to do the uh, reassignment and uh, delegation, you must have the application implementation of the tool, must have an employee role, and then preferably the advanced the procurement request of all this. It will be removed from everywhere. It will now come over here. 
And now what happens if you go on the submit for it, it will again go to one only. Right? Click on submit. It will go to good. Let us now go to other users and then 11, I'm going to give a, uh, what happens, a vacation to So you go to the bell icon and then here, what happens, uh, there's a two minutes before there's not a correct one point. Click on the more details. So click on the more details. And then you go there, click on this and then go to the preferences. And there, I'm not going to get a vacation rule for the employee. I go to the other rules and then query for the two tool. And because I'm an admin, I can do the vacation setting for anybody. So enable the vacation period. I will not say he's on a, going to be a vacation from 1st of March up to let us say 3rd of March. He's going on a tour actually. So during this period, what happens? I'm going to reassign. This is the wrong one you see. Re reassign, I'm going to do it. So is what? I will not say T02 underscore EMP. 3 3 I'm going to do. So I'm not reassigning it to EMP3. So click on it. I will not give a save. Right. Reassigning it to C. Right. Click on save it. So it is now saved actually. Right. So EMP11 is going on the EMP22. Or rather, I will not I have to make it for 11 one actually. So I will not change it for 11 one and then show. And then for 11 one, I will not make it change. I enable the rule. <clears throat> I'll do it for 11 one actually. Go to the point. I will put on this one. So one one is going on leave now. Fine, reassign it to what happens? I will say T zero two underscore EMP T three, and then click on save. It will save. Now uh, let us go there, and then uh, what happens? Uh, one one uh, is going on uh, two now. Actually, I will now go to the notification, and then here I will now see the notification. The latest notification one minute ago is has come off. Click on it. Now EMP one is now going to reassign. So we need three employees for each other. I'm not going to go and then what happens? Reassign. I'll click on reassign. I need three employees for each other. And then go there, click on it. I will now reassign it to what? 11 now. <clears throat> Fine, go there. T02. Let's go. And then click on it. 11. 11 is already on a vacation, actually. Fine. So it has to go to EMP33. Click on it. Fine. It has to go. So from EMP33 onwards, we don't have three people at all. Fine. Because EMP11 is not on a vacation. I click on something now. It is not possible at all. Okay, go there, click on it. Uh, it will now throw an error actually. It has to throw an error now. My EMP 11 has now come now. But uh, uh, if we go there and then I click on it, you know, yeah, reassign it. Fine. Click on the pending approval. I will not see whether it has gone hit on him or not. Fine. It has to go to EMP 3 3 now. So go there. The approval hierarchy cannot be displayed because the current user does not have uh, a manager assigned actually. Fine. EMP 3 3 is not having a manager. Fine. That is the problem now. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. <clears throat> the EMP33 is not having a manager actually because it needs a manager. Fine, uh, uh, 22, 33, and then 44. Fine, like that, it has to be there. But 33 is not having any manager at all. Fine, because of which, what happens? It has not gone there at all. I know that point. So that is the reason. Then what happens if you go there? So it has not really gone there at all. Fine, that you want. So the activity has not taken place at all. So it is not saying the 33 is not having any manager because of which it has failed actually. So when you want to reassign, it must have the sufficient number of people in the source. And the source is now showing you three means what? Everybody must be available there. Otherwise, what happens if you won't have them? <clears throat> Click on it. Go there. I will now again go to this navigation. Of that part. So that has not happened. It has not gone to him at all. It is not lying here on that. So the actions button is still there now. That part. So he tried to, what happens, delegate it. It has not happened at all. It has not happened. So a reassign. I will know what happens. Uh, I will now reassign again. <clears throat> I know that click on it. So 11, I will now uh, try to reason to 22. We'll now see what happens. And T02, and then click on search. So 22, I'm going to reassign. 11 is on leave now. 22 is not on leave. I click on okay now. I will now say click on submit. <coughs> so here, it has now been gone to 22 actually. So it has been sent to 22 now. So click on the pending approval and then see now. I click on done and then come out of it now. 22 has been done. So again, on the reassignment, what happens? It will be having an issue. Go that click on it. If you click on the pending approvals, and go that click on it. Now it's again, what happens? Uh, the uh, cannot be displayed because the current user does not have a manager assigned. Actually. And again, on 33, it is not getting stuck actually. Fine. It is not getting stuck also. So the reason is what? Uh, if it is going to go for a destination, then it must have three users on the hierarchical level of line managers, basically. And then uh, uh, line managers have to be specified for the next three levels, actually. And that is the reason that what happens, it has got struck, actually. Right? So this is the way the delegation and then your uh, this thing is working. Right? Reassignment. Reassignment means what? 
on the destination also you must have the sufficient number of employees with the appropriate uh, what happens uh, the managers being specified actually so that is the reason that it has not gone there at all and go there so if you go there <coughs> and then uh, uh, so you don't have uh, what happens the sufficient people there actually <coughs> so it's still lying here only but if you wanted to what happens the delegate it will definitely go and go that one i don't know go to the actions and then if you want to delegate it you can because then is there like here delegation itself is not coming at all right? escalate is there and go that i can only withdraw it back from you now right? i will not click on withdraw i don't know how exactly it is going to work on it now right? so click on submit now it may come back to him or not i'm not sure about it so it has been withdrawn now and click on the pending approvals and then see we are not try to send it to somebody on the reassignment area so it is now uh, it has been withdrawn actually it has to go to emp3 but emp3 does not taken any action probably it does not uh, shown anything at all thank you it is now withdrawn actually thank you come back and then if you go on then again look at it <clears throat> look at the manager approvals now it is withdrawn now so it is now pending approval thank you go to the actions and then if you click on the pending approvals it is now saying it is now withdrawn actually it has been withdrawn thank you come back and then uh, we will now go to the actions and then edit now and go to the actions and then go to withdraw and edit you can only withdraw and edit so this is the way it works actually so we can even uh, do it so when you want to reassign a thing what you have to do is on the destination one uh, you must have the sufficient number of people over here and if you don't have a sufficient number of people then it will never uh, pass through the proper hierarchy at all somewhere it will be getting stuck actually <laughs> so withdraw and edit it's not even happening okay so many things are you can no longer withdraw and edit the request at least one line is being processed by the buyer actually and you are saying <laughs> the request is associated with multiple negotiations or no longer have this privilege of editing the request so it is not message it up actually shortly <laughs> so uh, if you click on the pending approvals uh, it has now gone to emp33 and then afterwards is withdrawn actually so it is rejected now it has come as a rejected now fine it takes a longer time now fine now it will not allow you to edit so to bring in the status of rejected then it will come fine now you can do it you click on the manage approvals you can okay go there so if the approval mechanism is going to build let us say five approvals here if you are going to have five approvals and then if you want to reassign to some other employee they must also have five levels of bosses basically line managers must be there then only reassign will happen whereas for a delegation anybody can delegate to a particular employee so let us say emp2 is delegating to let us say 66 uh, uh, then emp2 will be replaced with 66 and then after he approves it will now go to emp3 so that way delegate works whereas for reassignment it will now go to the hierarchy of the destination fine who is over here marking it up and then from there what happens the approvals will take place so you must be very cautious in uh, doing the reassignment actually now both the delegation as well as reassignments you want hope that you understood and then if you have any doubts you can write to me at nana.app60 at gmail.com nana.app60 at the red gmail.com for any clarification fine i'm now conducting a lot of training my coverage will be very in depth in fact i will be covering the subject in great depth so you won't be finding that much of a coverage in any of the training institutes so fine and then uh, uh, we i provide support also for your normal activity of implementation support so my team of uh, people fine i have a big group there so in the what's called on the telegram now so they will assist you <clears throat> if i am unable to understand what happens somebody will now assist you also so hope that uh, what happens uh, my coverage of the subject will be definitely be very useful now uh, it uh, explains you the what happens the nitty gritty details of your implementation actually by the now you'll now see on some of the video